hello everyone we we'll start with module number 2 multiple random variables multiple random variables in this we have to take two random variables uh, x and y by variate cdf that is cumulative distributive function for two random variables x and y is defined as f x y x comma y is equal to probability of f less than or equal to s intersection with y less than or equal to y. This can be extended to n random variables. So therefore, f x1 x2 up to x n of x1 comma x2 up to x n is the probability of x1 less than or equal to x n. Intersection with x2 less than or equal to x2, intersection with so on, xn less than or equal to xn. Uh, I have shown here three examples. The first example says that x plus y should be less than or equal to n. There is a straight line equation here. It cuts the x-axis at 10 comma 0 and y-axis at 0 comma 10. Any area. Less than this is defined as area A. B. Minimum of x comma y should be less than or equal to y. So there is a way, and this is the point which represents y comma y. And any area less than y comma y will represent B. Third one, we have a circle here. So circle has a radius of 10. So therefore, any area inside the circle we define it as x square plus y square less than or equal to 100. That area we define it as c. Let us try to understand how to calculate uh, bivariate cumulative distributive function. By variate cumulative distributive function for n random variables is defined as f x1 x2 up to x10 of x1 of x1 x2 up to x10 is the probability of x1 less than or equal to x1 intersection with x2 less than or equal to x2 so on up to x10 less than or equal to x1. The observations of x and y are visualized as points in x and y plane. The bivariate CDS is the probability of bivariate observation occurring in the quarter plane to the left of and below the point. So it is to the left side and below the point. The shaded region is the region covered by the region x less than or equal to x and intersection with y less than or equal to y. The probability of bivariate observation is y occurring in this region is defined as f x y of x comma y. Consider the figure shown here. We are going to evaluate the CDS uh, bivariate CDS y once at x comma y, second time at x plus delta x. Uh, comma y plus delta y. The point corresponding to this is x comma zero. Corresponding to this is x plus c x comma zero. Point corresponding to this is zero comma y. Corresponding to this is zero comma y plus delta y. Now. Let us define some of the characteristics of uh, the CDF of the bivariate uh, random variable. F x y x comma y must be non-decreasing in the x and y direction. Always f x y the CDF should be non-decreasing. It should go on increasing. The differential b x and b y are positive. Uh, the shaded area indicates the increase in the area. In this observation of bivariate random variables, x and y can occur. The probability of observations occurring in the 
or shaded area is defined as the probability is defined as B which is always non-negative. Now dp is given by fxy of x plus delta x comma y plus delta y minus fxy x comma y which is almost equal to delta y delta x of fxy x comma y dx plus delta y delta y of fxy x comma y into delta y. Let us discuss about uh, some special conditions in a uh, bivariate bi random variable. First one, the event x less than or equal to minus infinity is an impossible event or event with no element or a type set. That is fxy, that is the CDS of minus x minus infinity comma of y is the probability of this nice intersection with y less than or equal to y that is equal to probability of pi that is always equal to zero. Second one fxy of x comma minus infinity is also equal to zero. Third one fxy of minus infinity comma minus infinity is zero. Fourth one, the even x less than or equal to infinity is a certain even x and is valid for any y on the xy plane. That is, fxy of infinity comma y is the probability of the even x intersection with y less than or equal to y. It is equal to probability of y is less than or equal to y. That is equal to f y of y. These are known as marginal CDS and the result is as good as that of CDS of a single random variable y. In the fifth one, f x y of x comma infinity which is also equal to f x of x. Once again, this is called as marginal CDS and it is a result of single random variable x. Sixth one, if both x and y are arbitrarily long, then f x y infinity comma infinity is always equal to 1. Let us now look into the five areas probability density function CDS. We can obtain bivariate CDS by differentiating the CDS function. Uh, FXY, that is bivariate CDS, can be obtained the, by differentiating the CDS function uh, once with respect to X, second time with respect to Y. Uh, we can differentiate fxy with respect to x or uh, with respect to y uh, as we see that fxy is a continuous function uh, so everywhere uh, only a few finite places we may not be able to have this uh, such one. Since uh, bivariate series is non-decreasing in both x and y directions Bivariate CDS is always non-negative. Therefore, we can say that fxy x comma y is greater than or equal to 0. For all values of x greater than minus infinity, for all values of y less than infinity. The inverse relation is also true. We can obtain the CDS from the CDS by integrating the CDS. We have integrated CDS fxy with respect to u as well as with respect to v. The volume under bivariate CDS is always equal to 1. That is, CDS of x, y is always equal to 1. Let us consider the figure shown here. We will consider the state of having the width Cx. Let us calculate the probability of a bivariate observation 
occurring in the state of which ds and extending from infinity to y plus d pi. For that, we need to calculate uh, the uh, CDF at this point, which is x plus delta x, y plus delta y. And then, we need to subtract the CDF at the point x, comma, y plus delta y. Then, we are going to get the probability of y of a bivariate operation occurring in the script of the S. We can also calculate the probability of bivariate operation occurring in the strip of which DS, extending from minus infinity, minus infinity to say some y. That can be calculated by calculating the CDF at this point and subtracting the CDF calculated at this point. The probability of a bivariate observation in the differential area, this area, which is called as BA. It's a rectangular strip, so therefore the area is given by Bx dy. Is the difference between these two results. So therefore, we can obtain the probability of x comma y belonging to BA is always equal to probability of x comma y multiplied by area b a in general we can say that probability of x comma y belonging to r is the integral of the pdf with respect to x and y where r is some arbitrary region on the x y plane Thank you. In the next video, let us try to solve some problems under bivariate, CDF and CDF.